Hello, welcome! This is our 12th class. Today we are going to correct our third list of exercises, right? So let's begin! Come with me then. Rewrite the evaluations using the words in parentheses. Example. There are only a few restaurants nearby. So let's rewrite this sentence, which is an evaluation, right? It says, there are only a few restaurants nearby. Nearby means close, right? Near, okay? So now we, I, want you, I want you to rewrite this sentence saying the same thing or something very similar, but now using not enough. So, how to do that? There aren't enough restaurants nearby. There aren't enough restaurants nearby, okay? So, we use not enough, right? There are only a few. There aren't enough, okay? Now, letter A. It's not convenient enough. And now I want you to use to. So, it's not convenient enough. What is the opposite of convenient? Inconvenient, right? So, it's too inconvenient. You see, these two sentences are synonyms. It's not convenient enough. It's too inconvenient, okay? It's, a, it's the same. We are saying the same thing here. Letter B. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. Using not enough. It's not safe enough. It's too dangerous, it's not safe enough, okay? Remember, we use adjective plus enough. So, the adjective comes first and then the enough. Letter C. There's only one bedroom. There's only one bedroom. Now, let's use not enough. There aren't enough bedrooms. There aren't enough bedrooms. Remember, every time then we have nouns, we have to use, and we are going to use not enough, we have to use it in the plural, okay? So, there aren't enough bedrooms. There aren't enough bedrooms. There's only one bedroom. Now, it's not specials enough. It's not specials enough. So, it's two cramped, okay? The opposite of specials is cramped. It's not specials enough, it's too cramped. There's only one parking space. There's only one parking space or there aren't enough parking spaces. There aren't enough parking spaces. So, since here I have space, right? Parking space, but space is a noun, so we use enough plus noun. Remember, adjective plus enough or enough plus noun, like in this case here. And when we use a noun, it's, it has to be in the plural because we are using not enough, okay? Always in the plural. Now, number two, change these comparisons using as, as. So, I want you to make the comparison using as, as, and the words in parentheses, okay? Example, houses are bigger than apartments. This is a comparison, right? A comparison of superiority. So, houses are bigger than apartment. Now, I want you to use big and make the comparison using as, as. How to do that? Apartments aren't as big as houses. Apartments aren't as big as houses. So, letter A. An apartment has more privacy than a house. An apartment has more privacy than a house. Now, let's use privacy again, right? It's in parentheses here. But I want to make th this comparison using SS. So, first of all, they are not similar, correct? An apartment has more privacy. So, we know already that this sentence has to be in the negative. Remember, every time we are comparing two things using s, s, and they are not similar, they are different, we have to use the sentence in the negative, okay? Now, the word in parentheses, privacy, 
is a noun, correct? Privacy is a noun. So we have to see if it is a countable noun or a not an uncountable noun, okay? If it is a countable noun or an uncountable noun. So if, it's, if it is countable, we use as many as. If it is not countable or uncountable, we use as much as, okay? So privacy is not countable, is uncountable. So a house doesn't have as much privacy as an apartment. A house doesn't have, okay, sentence in the negative, doesn't have as much privacy as, look here, as much, because privacy is an un, a non-count noun, okay, is uncountable. So, as much privacy as an apartment. Letter B. Apartments are noisier than houses. Apartments are noisier than houses. Again, they are not the same. So, sentence in the negative. We are going to use noisy. Noisy is an adjective. So, adjectives are easier, right? We just use s plus adjective plus s. Remember, as noisy as. So, houses aren't as noisy as apartments. Houses aren't as noisy as apartments. Letter C. An apartment has fewer bedrooms than a house. An apartment has fewer bedrooms than a house. Again, the comparison is not the same, okay? The two things being compared are different. So, Sentence in the negative. We are going to compare now bedrooms. Bedrooms is a noun. Is it countable or uncountable? It's countable. So I'm going to use as many bedrooms as. Remember, so sentence in the negative, as many bedrooms as. An apartment doesn't have as many bedrooms as a house. An apartment doesn't have as many bedrooms as a house. Letter D. Apartments are safer than houses. Apartments are safer than houses. Again, comparison. They are not the same. They have different characteristics. So, we have to use the sentence in the negative. Now, the word is safe. Safe is an adjective. Very simple, right? As safe as. So, houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Letter E. Houses have more space than apartments. Houses have more space than apartments. Again, they are different, right? Houses have more space. Sentence in the negative when we use SS. Plus, now we want to compare space. Space is a noun. If space is a noun, is it countable or uncountable? I cannot count space, right? In general, I cannot count. I can count, for example, parking spaces. Correct. This is a countable, a count noun, okay? But space in general, I cannot count. So, we are going to use as much as. Remember, apartments don't have as much space as a house, okay? Apartments don't have as much space as a house, okay? This sentence would be better if I had used houses, right? Apartments don't have as much space as houses. It would be a little better, okay? But this is correct. Apartments don't have as much space as a house. Letter F. Houses and apartments are both comfortable. Houses and apartments are both comfortable. So, they are similar, they are equal, sentence in the affirmative, okay? And we are comparing regarding, concerning, comfortable. So, comfortable is an, is an adjective, easy, as, comfortable, as. So, houses are just as comfortable as apartments, or houses are as comfortable as apartments, okay? You can use this just to emphasize that they are really equal, or you can omit the just, and you are, going, you are already saying that they are very similar, okay? They are both comfortable. Houses are as comfortable as apartments. Or, here I said that, 
Apartments are as comfortable as houses. Apartments are just as comfortable as houses. Letter G. Houses and apartments have an equal number of parking spaces. Equal number, so they are similar. They are exactly the same sentence in the affirmative, remember? So, we are going to use as, as in the affirmative. And now, parking spaces is a, spaces actually is a noun. Parking here is an adjective. But we are actually comparing the spaces, the number of spaces. And space then, in this case, is a count noun, is countable. So, as many as in the affirmative. Houses have just as many parking spaces as apartments. Houses have just as many parking spaces as apartments. Okay, now, letter, a, letter H. Houses and apartments have noise. So, both have noise. They are similar. Now, noise is a noun. Is it countable or uncountable? It's uncountable, right? I cannot count. So, it's, the sentence goes in the affirmative and we are going to use as much as. Remember, houses have just as much noise as apartments. Houses have just as much noise as apartments. Okay, folks, so that was it for today. Next class, we are going to see something very interesting, which is wishes. How can we say things that we like, things that we would like for our life, for the world in general, right? So these are wishes. When we have a problem, oh my God, I have a problem and I wish I didn't have a problem, okay? So we are going to see how to form sentences using wish. So, but this we are going to see next class, okay? If possible, please give me some feedback on today's class. Uh, telling me if the lists are too difficult or not difficult enough, okay? So that we can discuss and I can adapt the questions for you, okay? Thank you very much. I always appreciate your comments and, and messages. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you next class.